Mass X with a new Bleach Immortal Souls video. Today's video is a feature video on GGIO, Gigio, however it's pronounced. Not a main character in the anime, but they released him in the game. I finally got around to building him up and testing him out. So I wanted to go ahead and share that with you because I thought he was intriguing. So I wanted to do a deep dive into him. Taking a look at him, let's first look at his attributes. Now, as you can see, I just have a War Soul of Armor on him. Uh, I've got a crit chance of 21.9%, crit strength of plus 2%. Not surprising because he's a tank. Block pierce chance, 12.8%, effect accuracy, 15%. Damage reduction rates at 41.2%, which is pretty damn good. Crit resistant chance at 34.9%. Block chance at 44.8%. Block strength at 21%. Effect reduction at 20%. Damage rate at 27.4%. So those are definitely decent stats. He's only 5 starred. Uh, SSR. I only have... His weapons across the board at 64, as you can see, he is at level 95, where I'm currently at. Let's back out of this for a second. As usual, um, under promotion, it just has one Awaken Stone each, so nothing crazy. And under Awakening, I just did one across the board for each item, too. So, you know, he's not built crazy, it's just five star, but he's definitely intriguing if we go back and look at his skill set his mastery skill deals damage to a single enemy and reduces the targets rage recovery rate by 50 percent for two rounds i like that actually again it's a single enemy eh, but i still like that um, especially being a frontline tank i i like his skill set as we continue on and as you can see his skill damage is 168.8 percent plus 950 his Rage skill deals damage to a single enemy again, eh, but who cares, he's a tank, with a 75% chance to stun the target for one round. Decreases the target's attack by 30% for two rounds. That's what I like also. You get that stun. I probably ran 10 to 15 runs with him, and, and he is actually stunning around a 90 percentile rate from those runs I did with the setup you currently see. And I like to decrease on the attack too. His passive skill. While he is on the battlefield, he increases the damage rate of all allies. Always a great thing, especially coming from a tank. When allies attacking an enemy target that is stunned, the damage of the attack is increased by 20%. Well, given that he's going to stun frequently, you're gonna get that bonus, which is also great. And the damage rate increases 8.76%. Okay, nothing crazy, but you know what? Everything helps. Um, but that was the reason why I wanted to feature him. Because the first thing I thought of was introducing him into a Tenza Zangetsu team as one of the tankers. Because he's going to be stunning. Um, and that's going to assist Tenza Zangetsu. Just, you know, again... Another option out there, if you got him, he's definitely appears to be worth working with, at least what I've been able to see. As I said before, right now, I just have a War Soul of Armor on him, you know, to keep up that tanking. And his talent, by the way, is your standard Battle Arena Kenpachi contest. So not bad, but I'm not going to go crazy on it. I'm more interested in get, trying to get him to six stars at this point. So with that, I did go ahead and record a couple battles that are going to follow um, when I'm finished. So you can see him in action. Is he going to blow the tops off of anything? No. Okay. Is he definitely another solid SSR that you could use as a tank? Without a doubt, I'm seeing that. And I'm going to keep trying to push him in because I really do think in a Tenza Zangetsu team... I can make him work, especially in something in Worlds 2. I think that'd be a great way to pull off maybe somebody a little stronger and move them to a different team and allow him to work on that front line. All right. 
Well, as I said, some play video is coming right after this. And please like and subscribe. And if you have any further questions about him, let me know. その その その